Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done this modeling till here. So let's continue this stuff over here. So as you can see over here, we need to create some kind of brackets over here for that let's go into the side view and let's just create this uh, for the we can say the stands kind of enable in viewport make it rectangular and increase its thickness go into the line select the line just push it down place it as it is vertex now you can just press shift and drag it to make a copy of it and if you see this over here uh, let's make a duplicate of it let's just make a duplicate of it over here So go into the editable spline, just push this over here in this way and again duplicate this over here, alright. And after duplicating this stuff, if you see this, what we have done over here is like uh, let's take a cylinder let's go to the front view over here so reduce the height segments and just press shift and drag make one copies select this three out of it and again duplicate it place it over there now take a box over here right from the top view just take a box Let's rotate it and first let's place this down. Second, just duplicate this onto the top like this. So just go on placing this up so press control and click this all and let's just mirror it Perfect. So once you are done, you can just uh, give a color to it. So save your file. Now we need to create just this 
packs packets so just let's take a box over here let's go to the top view just press Z scale this <coughs> so just increase its height a bit and you can use a bit of Taper modifier or taper you can say taper sorry and definitely will get a will be giving a texture on top of it so go to the edge over here select this edge and just give a chamfer Just scale it down a bit. Alright. You can again just duplicate this stuff down. Just copy this. Place it. Just give a color to it. That that would be the same over here, but we'll just reduce the size of it over here a bit. Can place it, but we'll just reduce its size over here. shift and copy it again just shift and drag it onto the top copy it shift and drag <coughs> so select this all Press shift and drag it again. All right. Just save your file. Now we can just zoom over here. We can just make this. A simple kind of a bottle or something. That can be achieved, or you can use a cylinder kind of stuff. So convert to poly. <coughs> Take a cylinder, auto grade it. So just convert to editable poly over here. Let's go over here. Devil it. So just select this edge. Just give a bit of check. So select this edge again <coughs> and just give a check. That's it.
push it up scale it down and just make a copy of it that's it so just save your file now so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial